What's up, guys? Back with some more Chomper content. I'm sure you can tell by the title and thumbnail. We're going to be tackling some more color matching today. So back when we did the door handles, I learned a ton. And hopefully I'm going to be able to apply that experience today to match our mirrors. Yes, we are finally doing the mirrors. I know a ton of y'all been yelling at me saying, take the fender flares off or color match them. Well, I'm not taking them off because I love them on this body style. And my truck has the little line, which pretty much every truck that has fender flares on it from the factory is going to have just them being this age wears into the paint i can't stand that line so we're definitely leaving those on um, but this is such a large item i feel like this is not what we need to learn on right we're we're on our journey to become a professional rattle cam master but we're not there yet like i said i did learn a lot with the door handles but hopefully today we're gonna be able to apply that on the mirrors we just gotta we gotta continue to learn as we go and share that experience with y'all so let's go ahead and get this truck in the basement get these mirrors taken off let's get this prep work started for starters, took the mirror out. It's got all these little tabs all the way around. What you wanna do, pull this bottom part up as much as you can, get in here with a little flat head, stick it underneath those little guys here, and just twist, you get one or two, and you gotta pull pretty hard, and just continue around as many as you can see, and then it'll pop, and then you can push it a little bit lower, get into the top ones, and they'll pop out, and then just take your little heated mirror plugs off just wiggle them pull them out if you have heated mirrors and then if you do have the blinker in your mirror this guy you kind of pry up a little bit on each side and just wiggle that guy out pull this push pin out yours probably has a little cap on there pop that off and then we got a t20 get your pry tool pop this free Get access to a seven mil. Seven mil in here as well. Lift this up. Take your light out and flip it around. All in here, pinch, wiggle. Push this down, flip that lever forward. Oops, okay. This guy, pinch and pull, pinch and pull. Let's take your wire out of here. This guy out, got some 10 mils. Slide the wire through. We are trying our very best to do this as professional as possible. So we are gonna go ahead and disassemble the whole thing. We got a T10. Top ones are T20. Put this in here and see these little tabs. We're gonna play with those a little bit, but Majority is held on with just some adhesion. There you go. So if you want to swap it out for a chrome one or something, that's how you do it. Then you want to swing this guy back because there's a little tab right here. So you can go ahead and pry this up some. Push this tab in. Three. We got the one, two, three bolts out here, but there's actually one hidden. So get your flathead, pop this guy free, and you'll see. Move these wires down right down in here in this hole. The T20. She's free. So we're gonna start out with 400 grit, work our way up to 600, and then finish off with 1,000 before laying on the adhesion promoter. So I'm gonna throw in some music, couple videos, 
try to kill the time best I can. I'll catch back up with y'all when I get done with the 400 grit. All right, about four AOT episodes later, we got one side initial sanding done. Haven't even started on the passenger side. But that is it for the 400 so i'll go ahead and get that side knocked out as well and then i'll catch up with y'all after 600. well boys i must admit i definitely underestimated the amount of time and effort it was going to take to sand these babies down but we are finally done with the 600 grit and we're ready for the thousands i have sanded as much as i can possibly bear to sand so it is time to start the painting process kind of got things strode everywhere because i'm trying to get them hung up where i can paint them properly but that's where I got the two main parts. I put our caps back on the other pieces, just gonna paint them together, got all that. So first up is gonna be our adhesion promoter, two to three light coats, three minutes between coats, and then 10 minutes after the last coat of this, we'll start the black paint. And for the first time I did use a tack rag to hopefully clean all the little tiny microscopic dirt, debris, fibers, and everything off of them. So, or, like I said, we're hoping to paint them as good as possible. All right guys, it's time for our first coat of black paint. I'm gonna be waiting five minutes between, and uh, should be about three, four coats I'm thinking. Have this thing ready to sit and then clear coat. All right, I got my respirator on, so y'all probably can't hear me too good, but I got everything final coated. Now we're going to wait 30 minutes and hit with the 2K clear coat. All right, time for the clear coat. We're going to do four light coats, 10 minutes between the coats. Hopefully they come out good. guys well here it is and holy crap chomper is looking absolutely amazing dude so obviously i took the flares off as well temporarily 
because it looked a little wonky with the flares not being color matched and the mirrors and everything else being color matched. Dude, it looks killer like this. And honestly, if it didn't have the lines, I'd probably leave the flares off since we got the LBZ with the flares, but it's kind of hard to see. You can see the lines, especially on this overcast day. It really doesn't stand out bad, but I mean, you can see it. Just, yeah. Anyways, to the mirrors. So they look incredible. The gloss black on the black truck looks amazing. Did I get them as perfect as I wanted? Unfortunately not. Like the pillar part looks super, super glossy and well, all of it looks glossy, but it looks super, super smooth. Unfortunately, I did not, sorry about the wind. I know it's wrecking y'all, trying to block it. I didn't get the caps as smooth as I should have. I should have sanded more. There's still a little bit of texture in them. It almost looks a little orange peely. Look how freaking buttery smooth that looks right there. Holy crap. Uh, I should have went heavier with the 400 grit to start off uh, all over, but I mean, it is, it is what it is. I learned a lot, and when I do the fender flares, I might take the mirrors back apart and send them down totally where you can't see any of the dots, because I did it smooth, but um, like smooth to the touch, but I, I didn't get all the little dots completely out where it was just a smooth, smooth plastic sheet, and I should have, because it didn't fill in. Maybe if I did it on a primer, it would have filled in the little pore spot, spots, but I mean, it is what it is. It looks, I mean, dude, look how freaking killer looks so good i am i'm pleased with it and like i said i wanted to get it a little bit more perfect but still it, it turned out amazing it definitely is so sick looking just all glossy on this black dude it looks so killer look at this thing i should have washed it too man i know it's gonna make a lot of people happy with the flares off I just prefer these body styles with the flares. They just flow so good, but let me show y'all what I got. Cause we're gonna do the flares even better. Like I said, we learned here, we learned there. We're just progressing. All right, let me block my address. But I went ahead and did what I should have done on the mirrors and got a little $30 Amazon special um, sander. Got some 400 all the way to 1000 grit sandpaper disc. So with this should be able to sand the flares down like perfectly smooth and paint them amazingly. Uh, the mirrors did take two cans of the black paint. So I'm guessing I need four to six for the flares, if not more, which is gonna take, that's gonna be expensive because I think the cans are like 30 bucks a pop. Ordering them from the place I did that, you know, mixes them up for your paint. But it's gonna look stupid good with those flares painted. It's just gonna take a lot of time and energy. Figured it'd look cool in the courthouse, you know, white rock background. I think it looks killer. I literally just went and got tire shine because it kills me when my tires are dirty. It just looks so much better when they're nice and black, shiny. But y'all comment down below. Let me know what I should have done different. Obviously, should have done more sanding, but do you think I should have done a primer on it? I mean, that that this part came out perfect, exactly like I was wanting, just as smooth as the rest of the paint on the truck is. Should have just sanded the actual mirror part. A little bit more which like i said i'm a little bummed about but overall very pleased with the outcome looks so so good gosh dog <laughs> chomper <laughs> never ceases to amaze this that, this is why this truck is my favorite because it just it does something to me dude just look at it holy crap absolutely stunning so y'all comment down below let me know i'll see y'all in the next one